Um, I just want to make a little note here that I'm going to start talking a lot more about skin care and skin color because a lot of you guys have been asking me um, about different products because of my skin tone and a lot of you guys have the same um, if not a deeper skin tone and so I wanted to address those things with you guys um, A lot of what I'll be talking about is color correcting before and you guys know if you guys have joined me on my journey so far um, It really is a perfecting thing to color correct for um, Orange undertone skin or if you have medium to tan skin so yeah, that's what I'm going to be talking about and I'm really excited to share what I've learned so far with you guys. So let's get into the tutorial. Today the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, so today we are going to be doing a really simple cut crease tutorial what I've got on right now. Um, so if you like this look, keep watching and please don't forget to subscribe, join my family, join my journey. I would love to hear from you. You can give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down and let me know what you thought. Um, this community is all about sharing and I am excited to share this tutorial with you. So let's get started. So the first step is to use the NARS Luminous Moisture Cream. I love wearing this uh, underneath my makeup. It really lets the makeup kind of stick to it in a really nice way and never get oily or dry. It just makes your skin drink and feel hydrated. So I absolutely love it. Um, next, we're gonna take Too Faced Primed Poreless Primer and just apply that where you want your pores to look as small as possible. For me, that's all over, so I give that a go. And once that's dry, I'm going to use my MAC Pro Longwear Foundation. The shade I wear is NC45. This is literally the best foundation I own and the color is amazing and the flashback is even better so all around long wearing so i absolutely can't get enough or say enough good things about mac pro longwear foundation so i'm just going to go in with my toothbrush brushes and put a light layer over my entire face and a little bit of my neck as well so this brush is from Neverland Beauty and Health. I got it off of Amazon because I wanted to try the toothbrush craze. I know we've all seen it all over Instagram and I honestly really love them. They really grab the product really nicely and distribute it and you can use the stippling technique really well, which I'll show you when I cover up my Argeria scar. So the next step is to do that and I'm using Cover FX in the orange shade. I'll put all the product details below and I'm using the kind of stipple brush and I'm putting that right onto the gray areas of where I used to have a nose ring. So my focus when I do this is to literally correct the gray color. And once I see that it's corrected, I will then blend a little bit more towards the outside of where the orange is. So I blend outwards from the center of where the discoloration is. And once I'm happy with the way it's blended, because it is a very, it looks like a very harsh color on my skin, but the Argeria is a very deep color, so I needed a deep color to correct it. And once I'm happy with that, I'm going to go in now with another layer of my Pro Longwear foundation in the exact same color, NC45. And just take a little bit on the same brush. I cleaned it before I used it because I don't want to smudge around the orange color. And then I'm just literally going to dab it on top of the orange color. So once I'm happy with that, then I can blend it out and you'll see it is going to be perfectly color corrected and there is no gray. So there you can see it there. I was really happy with the results. I still have a hole in my face, but it's nothing I can really do about that at this point. 
but a well covered up nose and no Argeria scar is what I was going for so I was really happy with the result. Um, so again, I'm going to be doing a full color correct on my entire face um, for brown skin so you guys can see what that looks like and the differences that it makes. I find it makes a huge difference and I really can't get enough of doing it these days. So that's coming up for you guys soon and I took a really long time to get this correct but it did take a few tries because I smudged around the orange a little bit so remember to stipple if you're doing that. So next I'm going in with my Clinique Chubby Stick and I'm going to contour. I love this one because it's a really warm brown and it still has a beige yellow undertone which really blends well into my skin. So I just again use the Neverland brushes to do all my snatch in. And once that's completed I'm going to go in with my eyebrows. <laughs> so I started to do my eyebrows on camera for you guys and um, but then it would just make the video way too long so I just decided to not but I'll show you the products that I used to do them. I use Benefit Browsings in the shade 6 so it's the really dark one and it's really simple what I do. I brush my eyebrows out first with a spoolie and my weapon of choice is the Benefit, is right in the Benefit Browsings package. It's really tiny and then I use literally just the powder. I don't use the kind of waxy cream at all. I don't find it's useful for me. I find it kind of gets streaky on my skin. So that's what I did. I literally just line the bottom and then I like sort of line the top. I just kind of do like little strokes and then um, and then I kind of fill it in with the other side of the brush. So I use the pointy side first and then I use the um, kind of rounded side to round out the edges and then I use a spoolie to blend it out and the last phase you'll see is I use the Benefit uh, brow gel to finish it off. So that's that's basically it. It does take me a really long time to shape them though. So that's just one side. And once I have the two sides, you'll see here how I just use the brow gel to finish it off. And I really do like to um, raise the inner corners of my eyebrows to make it look a little bit more natural. And I don't put very much product towards those ends because I like it to look kind of ombre out. Um, so yeah, and I do trim my eyebrows by the way at the very top so that I get a good uh, nice clean line, um, but I trim them with a very small pair of scissors and that's pretty much all the grooming that I do. So I like to do my highlighting after I do my brows, that way if I kind of mess it up I can go in and clean that up. I'm using Sephora Bright Future and no one corrected me and I'm so embarrassed. But Bright Future is the line. The color that I've been using is called Tartan. So I will link that below. I'm really sorry, I apologize. I thought it was Sephora Bright Future and I just, uh, yeah, that's what I thought the name of the color was, but it's not. So my bad, uh, <laughs> Tartan is the color. Um, and then of course I'm going to go in with MAC Soft Ochre for the eyeshadow base for my eyes. Uh, you guys know that I love this product. Stay tuned for a giveaway, hint hint. Um, so I just apply that with my finger, it's the best way. And then I'm going to go into the Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to choose Real Gear as my first color and I'm just going in with a really thin kind of a little bit bigger than an eyeliner brush but an eyeliner brush would work as well and I'm literally just going to trace my crease with it um, all the way to the end and kind of wing it out um, and you'll see with that color so this is my third attempt at a cut crease and what I learned from my first one is that you have to trace it on while your eyes is, are open <laughs> so that way um, you can actually see 
the crease color uh, when you open your eye, which is a big thing. So the trace has to be above the crease line, if that makes any sense, and not like below it. Because if it's below it, it's just not gonna look good. And then I'm going in with the MAC 219. It's the one, the brush you use to smoke things out. And I'm going to literally just kind of blend that color and smoke it out and make it a little bit bigger. I didn't want to do too perfect of a crease because I knew I wasn't gonna get it right on this dry. So that's why I made it a little bit bigger and I made it more of a subtle crease than a really um, defined, thin line. I wanted it kind of smoked out and a little bit thicker um, so that you can see it on the Instagram baddie pictures that I'll be posting. So I went in to deepen the crease with red ochre as well and after I deepened it I went in with Primavera um, with a Morphe brush to just kind of make the crease. Um, the crease is visible. It's softer than what um, I would like to get to. I want to get to a point where I can do a really defined crease right um, between those two colors. That's where the crease is supposed to be. Um, but this is how it turned out for this time, just a soft cut crease. So next time we'll work on that. And looking at it, I should have put the color, um, the real gear and the red ochre towards more the top of towards my brow bone um, and then I'm just taking the color Vermeer and putting that in the tear ducts to accentuate the look and then I'm going in with Tardist eyeliner um, and just kind of doing a very very mild wing Next, one of my favorite parts is the lashes. These are House of Lashes in Siren. And I absolutely love these lashes um, because you don't actually need to wear eyeliner with them and they, they stick really close to your lash line. So these are good ones if you're looking for that. Also, I didn't include it in this video, but I did put mascara on before I uh, put the lashes on. And here you see me doing it after. I love a good before and after. So next I'm going in with Tarte, the Awake Eyeliner. Um, I love how this just brightened up the look and opened up the eyes. So it also stays all day, which is amazing. And then I'm going in with MAC Swiss Chocolate to cut my cheeks even more because you guys know how I love to do that. And the last step, again, on my color correcting tip, I've got dark lips, so I need to correct them before I put a true color, especially a lighter color on it, because again, I don't want it to look ashy. So I did put a lip gloss on. Um, any lip gloss that you know doesn't make your lipstick run will do, and I use Stripped Down by MAC lip pencil over it to correct my lips. And then I went in with my new liquid lipstick by Anastasia. It's called Stripped and I absolutely loved it with this look. I thought it looked very pretty, uh, very angelic. Um, maybe it's because I have the silver hair, you know. thought it was looking like an angel over here. Got you guys fooled. Just kidding. Uh, I really did like how this turned out though, so uh, with the color corrected lips. So stay tuned for my color correcting video. Anyway, um, that's pretty much it guys for the look. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys next time. And don't forget to subscribe guys. I love sharing these with you. I have some awesome giveaways coming up. So don't want you guys to miss out on that. And if you feel like it, follow me on Snap and on Instagram because that's where I'll be posting daily and you'll get a daily dose of Aberdeen. Until then, stay glowing, you glow girls. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.